up to a billion dollars for the transition away from coal. In 2021, the Liberal government promised to phase out thermal coal exports by 2030. It was in then brand new Environment Minister Stephen Gilbo's mandate letter. And while the Liberals say they're still committed, Yes, phasing out coal from the electricity sector is the single most important climate action any country can take. New government data obtained by the NDP shows Canada's coal exports have tripled. 2.44 million tons were exported in 2015 when the Liberals were first elected, jumping to 8.23 million tons in 2022. It's shocking. It's, it's shocking. They clearly have no plan to phase out thermal coal exports and no plan to support workers. NDP MP Laurel Collins put forward a private member's bill in Parliament. I'm pleased to be tabling a bill to ban the export of thermal coal. Calling on the government to ban the export of coal from as well as through Canada and consult with unions whose members will be affected. I've spoken to uh, longshore workers and uh, others who feel very concerned about the fact that the Liberals haven't brought them to the table. We know we need to have unions and workers at the table whenever these decisions are being made so that we understand the impacts on families. The Coal Association of Canada did not respond to a request for comment from Global News by deadline. Thermal coal is the dirtiest and the deadliest of all fossil fuels. As several provinces have already moved away from coal for electricity grids here at home, the organization Environmental Defense says it's hypocritical Canada hasn't cut off exports. Surprised to see the tripling amount. But we've seen absolutely no progress made by the government since then. And, and we've been asking, we keep asking, and really there's nothing to show. The government says it's looking at a range of options to figure out how a ban would work and assessing socioeconomic trade and environmental impacts. Ottawa promises to announce next steps when those assessments are done, but the Environment Minister's office won't say when that could be, with the clock ticking down to 2030. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.